Final preparations are underway right now for Anissa Scott's funeral. It'll be nearly a day-long event tomorrow honoring her memory. Francisco Almanar has you covered on how parts of the arrangements are coming together. Anissa's final transportation to her funeral is ready to go. A monster truck her family picked out from people willing to lend their time. I don't consider my truck a monster truck at all. It's, it's actually um, pretty low to the ground, but anything that I can do to try and bring any type of um, peace or, to this family, I, I'm more than willing to do. Shane Otis spent Friday making sure his truck was ready to go for Saturday. Now, Otis will be bringing Anissa in his truck here to Bree Stevens Field. He says it's the least that he can do to help the family. I'm extremely honored to to be asked to do this um, and and love to give her a ride in, in not your normal conventional way. It's people like Otis that have been helping out and volunteering their time to help make sure Anissa has a proper goodbye. All of the community volunteering, about a thousand people marching from the Capitol for my baby, and it's, it's, it's unreal. Laureen Gomez, Anissa's grandmother, was on her way back to town Wednesday, overwhelmed by the support and can't wait to see what Saturday brings. And it's just making it all that much easier, if you will. Um, the joyous occasion of celebrating her life. In Madison, Francisco Almanara, 27 News. 27 News wants to help honor Anissa's life. Her family is allowing us to live stream her funeral so more members of the community can see it. It begins at 1045 with the Unity Walk and will go until the service is over. You can watch tomorrow on WKOW.com or on our Facebook page.